Morning guys, Nickelodeon here with Nickelodeon's Gaming Channel. Um, we're going to continue our day leveling here with uh, Furious Farts on Eastern Playgrounds. We're actually taking the flight down to the Badlands. Um, I've got to take a... F I can go to f it's just basically going to be a travel for like the first 20 seconds. <laughs> so forgive me. Um, you may have noticed it. Doing a little cleaning here, a little manscaping. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this and we're going to get moving. Um, we got a so the flight from Eastern Playgrounds down to the Badlands is, is quite long. Um, and you do it on a rocket, so it takes a little bit to get down there. But once we uh, once we start moving, I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up for you, so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. Um, yeah. So I had a good weekend, uh, a couple days off. Yeah, my normal days off, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, just hung out at the house. Didn't really do much. Let's get our flight here. What can I do for you? Go over to Lights Hope Chapel. Be careful. So didn't do much. Just kind of hung around the house. Um, vegetated for a few days. Played some Minecraft. Um, I think I'm going to start putting videos up on that. If y'all are interested in it, let me know in the comments. Um, I've been working on a, a server that we've been putting in a lot of NPC content and quests and trying to get all this stuff working. And we're having some issues, but we're getting there. So if you have any, uh, if you guys want to see some of those Minecraft videos, let me know. And we'll, uh, I'll try to I'll work some of those into my schedule so it's not so much World of Warcraft. So um, I'm going to go ahead and accept this quest here. Fuse Light Ho, and we're going to get moving, and I'll fast forward it as soon as we get there. So actually, we're going to be flying down to, what if I'm Badlands here? Wetlands. Badlands. Where are you? That's so bitch. Steps. Badlands. So we're going to be going from up here at the top all the way down to here. On uh, it near the bottom, so yeah, it's quite a long and arduous flight. Let me go ahead and accept the quest real quick, and once we get moving, I'm gonna fast forward it for you. Well, spit it out. Be Except careful there. out there. All right, guys, I'm gonna fast forward, and I will see you on the other end. And here we are. We made it all the way down from up there. It didn't take long. <laughs> a couple of minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this quest here to turning in Fuse Light Ho money, and the Fuse Light proper. This Draenei is paradise. I've always wanted to live in a nice quiet town by the sea so I can focus on my explosions without any distractions. Quiet's not for everyone, though, especially the adventuring hero type like yourself. Even install a teleport in the back side of town that will take you to the top of the cliffs. From there, you can take a quick ride west into Fuse Light proper within the Badlands. There should be more for you to do up there. Tell them Flo sent you. Alright. Keep it real. Yeah, that light is killing me. Alright. So we're going to take the transporter up here, and it should jump us over to Fuse Light proper. And it's going to be just a little jaunt, so I'm going to speed it up here for you. All right, here we are in Fuse Light proper. Let's go ahead and run up here. We're gonna turn into Fuse Light proper. What's up? And we're gonna take easily swayed. The most immediate threat to Fuse Light is, without argument, the colony of ogres to the northwest. Most of our ogre neighbors used to be warrior types, but it seems more and more of them are practicing magic. I won't have any army of ogre magi at my doorstep. Go take some of those dust belcher ogres. Hopefully, they'll get the picture and avoid messing with the might of Fuse Light. Have a good one. Right, I'm gonna grab up when going gets tough. Cheat. Hmm. Interesting. I just can't get my invention to work. Gah! That's it. I've decided I'm gonna cheat and use magic. What my invention really needs is solid piston that's thin enough to fit through a narrow copper tube, but strong enough to withstand repeated impacts without breaking. The magical rods carried by those ogre magi to the north should work perfectly. From what I could tell, only instructors carry the strong states. Get our flight path here. And we'll kill some dust belchers. Now they're just over the edge of the canyon here, kind of roaming around. And they're not particularly tough. 
One of my favorite quests here is, uh, well, you'll see me do it here in a minute. It's, uh, you gotta kick the goats off the mountain. It's pretty funny. Well, punch them off the mountain, but, yeah, it's pretty funny. There's even an achievement for doing it fast. Let's see here. Let's find some more of these dust belchers. There we go. There's the loser. Yes, of course. No. And these big ones are the ones that have the staff that I need. And I just need to pick up the rest of these ogres. And there's a ton of them down here in the, this canyon. Most people get the big blue spot. And most very few people come down to the smaller blue spot. So yeah, there's just they're just congregate in here. So I say conjugate, but that'd be the wrong word. So they congregate in here. I guess I'll just walk over to him leisurely. And hit him really hard. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We got a few more we need to get. All the crag coyotes. Oh, there's three up here. We're good. Please go. Seven. Eight. Found there's somebody else up there. A rogue. Eight. One more. Uh, yeah, we got a rogue up there doing the same quest. But we are we're almost done, so we just gotta pick up a few more. I'm gonna run down this road here and run around the corner. There should be a couple. Let's see if you guys respawn. <laughs> yeah. What's up, dude? <laughs> Turn those in. And then I think we're going to get the goat quest after this. Knock goats off the mountain. Uh, and then we're going to have to go kill a bunch more like coyotes and uh, cats and stuff. Up the hill. Where am I going? I'm losing my mind. Aggro and everything. So then we're going to kill some more, an do more animal thing. And we have to go and kill. But there's just a whole bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> we actually don't spend that much time in Blast Lands. I, I guess we do. 46, 19 bars. So yeah, we're here quite a bit, I guess. Well, Let's turn that in. Get the Great Horn ba Goat Horn Band. Alright. She says. So, we have a little bit of a goat problem here in Fuse Light. In case you haven't noticed, they'll eat anything, and they seem to have taken a liking to the piles of cogs and gears we tend to leave sitting around. It's really annoying. And find most of the billy goats wandering on the edge of the cliff, town, cliff around the edge of town. Uh, use this device to give them a little, quote unquote, nudge. Alright. Glad I could help. So, I'm going to go talk to Dolphus Blastus. Hey, how you doing? And a strange request. On to other matters. I have a package that needs delivered. A young lady came to our town not too long ago looking for a compressed blasting powder, a tempered mithril bomb casing, and some safety goggles. Naturally, we had plenty of blasting powder and bomb casings to sell her, but the safety goggles, eh, those are a little harder to find. Long story short, I've got the goggles, but she's already returned to her studies down in Left Lore uh, Ravine. Will you bring these down to her? Sure. Be good. Alright, so now we're going to go use our Billy Goat Blaster, which is just this gauntlet right here. Drop that into our hot bar. All you gotta do is run up to them and click them and then hit the button and they just go, see you goats. And I'm waiting for some of them to respawn because it looks like somebody's already cleared a lot of them off. But are these just these billy goats like, like that? Just gonna run up to them and hit your button. <laughs> you don't even have to dismount to do it, which is what makes the quest kind of fast. And I just missed my jump. Awesome. Guys, off the hill here. Five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. One more. 
Ready, set, go. Or doing it in less than a minute. 12 goods in less than a minute. There's a little achievement there for that. Not super difficult, but... Alright, turn yeah, that in. And I gained the level. Sudden death. Alright. Now I'm going to go talk to Rhea, it looks like. We're going to make a little run down here to the turn it in. So yeah, we'll see you over there. Here we are. Um, now Rhea here is actually a dragon, so we're going to turn this quest real quick. Pick up a chest piece, I guess. And we have first sample wild eggs, second sample whelps. So, I'm experiencing, I'm experimenting with black dragons specifically. I am interested in how they procreate. My current experiments require plenty of black dragon eggs, which is why I'm here. Then Lethlo Ravine. I gather the eggs myself, but I think you'd benefit from benefit from helping me out. You will find them along the edges of the ravine. Beware the guardians that circle above. They do not appreciate stolen eggs. Okay, and whelps. I need another favor from you. I need to obtain bodies of black dragon whelplings that fly nearby. Slay them and bring me their corpses. All right. She's actually a dragon, and we're going to have a cage dragon over here in a little bit. So you'll see here. The first thing we're going to do is these eggs, they look just like they described. Um, big gold eggs on the edge of the ravine. You pick them up, and then these big dragons will fly down like that and attack you. Like this guy here, he's fighting them. But we can pick up these guys in the meantime. <laughs> All right. They're going that way, so I guess I'll cross the canyon and go this way. And just smash these little fools up. I just see these golden eggs right here is what we're after. Alright, made all the difference in the world in killing things. You get sudden death allows you to, um, with auto attacks, to proc your ability to uh, e execute enemies no matter what their health level is. Suck a fish. Let's grab this guy up here. That's five. We're half of the dragons we need already, and we need what? A few more eggs. Um, got four more eggs. There's three right here, so. That's one. I'm gonna have a whole herd of crap on me here in a minute. Apparently they just come down, attack, and then if you're not there, they leave. That's weird and random. That's five. One more egg. Then we gotta kill a bunch more of these whelplings. Go turn it in. That's six. And not too soon either. We have a. Those guys are being quite aggressive over there. Seven. Can you tell if that's a hunter or a druid? Oh, he's a hunter, okay. You can tell there's a druid and a dwarf. A druid and a warrior, I mean, and or a hunter, so. Had to double check. We got two more corpses we need. Let's tool around together as one. They respawn pretty quickly, so it's not like a big, huge deal. That's nine. Okay, we'll scoop the last one here. Alright, we'll turn this in. Yeah, this area is not too bad. Um, it, can, it can get a little out of hand if, you, if you're if you here by yourself, because you can tend to aggro a bunch of these little dragons all together. And if you're not wearing BOAs, they'll just flat out decimate you. Let's 
So yeah, let's turn these in. Eggs, let's get eggs and bodies. Let's see, lifting the veil. The black dragonfly was once noble. They were Earth's wand warders, protecting the very land itself. How ironic that they would become the worst menace the land has ever known. I believe that there remains of silver, remains a silver of hope, a sliver of hope. Jesus. However, so does my, so does my mistress. The black dragonfly will live beyond Deathling's treachery and will soar to the noble Earth warders once again. I will show you something. Close your eyes and I'll review the final part of my studies. I remove the fog from your eyes. Behold our captive. All right, so I'll turn that in. Now, Alexandra is being held against her will. She's hidden from her brood. She is hidden from her brood right in the middle of the breeding grounds. She lays eggs, but they'll be taken away before she can ha see them hatch. Cruel, perhaps, but not nearly as cruel as the treatment that her dragon flight showed my mistress. Show me that I can trust you. Take Noxina's eggs and bring them to here. You'll need to beat Noxandra into submission before you can take them. So you basically got to beat her up. She'll go into like a into like a hibernating state where she'll recover her hit points. But only when you not only when she's in that state can you actually grab the eggs. So I'm gonna let this guy knock her down, and I'm just gonna pick the eggs up. So see how he knocked her down. And then you just click on the egg. It just takes forever to take one. And then she'll get back up, and you just do it over again. She's down. Let's grab another egg. You need to grab three in total, and so you have to keep knocking her down. So it's not terribly difficult. All right, fix that one away quickly. She's down again. Grab the last egg, and then we'll turn them in. And then Rhea will actually reveal her true form to you, which is a big dragon. So, Boop. turn that in, grab a stupid weapon. All right, as I've hinted earlier, I'm no ordinary goblin. You may have already guessed my true identity. Allow me to show you my true form, as you have proven yourself trustworthy. I will also share with you the details of my plan. All right, and then she just she turns into the big dragon. Her name is Rhea Straza. Okay, so the Venerable Dr. Blam. I made a calculated decision revealing my identity to you. I needed you to trust me, but I can no longer stay here and left floor, left floor ravine, as my cover has quite clearly been blown. You may be able to slip away unnoticed, however. Here, take the results of our research and bring them to the west. At Agamon's end, you will find the gnome who knows what to do with these samples. Hurry, you mustn't loiter here any longer than necessary. All right. Now we have to go see Dr. Heronius Blam, and he's quite a ways away. So I will fast forward through here for you. We are at Agamon's End, and we are turning the quest to Heronius Blam here. Need assistance? And pick up Trogish Troubles. I'll need some time to analyze these samples, as well as a break from the Trog shooting duty. Go man one of my turrets and take out as many of the trogs as you can. I'll be here studying. The turrets have two abilities, a regular shot and an electric overload for too many enemy, if too many enemies get close. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, and you'll be look on the lookout for big slow trogs. You probably don't want to let them get anywhere near you. So this one, you're just pretty much going to sit in the turret, and since they did the rebalance or the item squish thing, you're pretty much just one-shotting everything, so you're just going to just wheel around and bam, 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 knock them down. It's really easy. You have a great day now. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just one second. Actually, I think I'm going to have to call it there. Yeah, these are all today's. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it here, actually. So we'll just pick this up tomorrow, where we're at here. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. You have a thumbs up if you enjoyed, thumbs down if you didn't. Um, I want to thank you for spending time with me this morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day.